how eloquent she is about being a geek and being a woman in, you know, both on the internet, but also in real life and kind of integrating that into your, like, daily reality. She's had to deal with, like, so much of, like, the male geeks, like, hating on female geeks so that we don't have to. And so any words that she puts out, I will read. She's a great model for girls, and I really like that. Um, I teach it at all-boys middle school, so to have that for myself and to have that for the boys is great. I definitely try to, in my memoir, channel what I think people respond to uh, in my work and in my story, which is sort of the empowerment of individuality and um, perseverance and the idea that your inner creativity is important to share, if only with one other person, but in my case, maybe a lot more than that. And uh, I'm always heartened to meet people who say they're inspired by my work, and that was kind of the motivation for writing a book in the first place. So my book, You're Never Weird on the Internet Almost, is my first book I've ever written. I've written a lot of screenplays and blogs and excerpts and thousands of tweets, but never a book. And the one thing I hope people take away from my book is that it doesn't matter how weird you are, how off you are, that you can always find a place to belong as long as you are true to yourself. I would love to write another book. I think I've said enough about me as a person. There's a lot of Felicia Day in this book. It's all compacted, kind of like a, a broth boiled down to the, the, the bouillon. Is that what that thing is? I'm not sure. Anyway, so that's enough of that girl. Uh, I would love to write another book, uh, a fictional book about maybe romance mixed with zombies and maybe fairies. I'm not sure, but it'll be a mashup of something probably fantastical because that's what I love the most. <laughs>